Yes, yes. Sorry. एक मिनट एक मिनट वन मिनट वन मिनट वन मिनट ओके 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 सर, सर,
you tell me when you are ready we can start you tell me when i am ready पोस्ट कैन यू हियर मी सर वी गॉट द इंस्ट्रक्शन दैट वी कैन स्टार्ट इवन इफ द मॉडरेटर इज नॉट देर प्रेजेंटर्स More than fifty, cause it's streaming live on YouTube and uh, Facebook, so there are so many people. Okay. They are they are going to watch there. I think we have to start now because we are delaying. We should not delay. Yes, yes sir, sure. Mm-hmm. Okay. You tell me whenever you are ready. I am ready. Post. 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 Yes sir. 
So can we start? Please go ahead. Thank you, sir. Post can we start? Give me sharing rights, please. Shimi, give me sharing rights. Post, please give the sharing rights to sir. Post, can I start? Good morning, everyone. It's my honor to welcome you all in the second edition of Orange City Literature Fest, organized by SGRK, SGR Knowledge Foundation. I, Hemanshi Gandhari, will be the anchor for this session, and the topic for this session is Road to Culinary Mastery, which is of 40 minutes. Chef, uh, Chef Sondar Ranjan, you will get a buzzer before 10 minutes are left in the session. Thank you, sir. The, the guest for this session is Dr. Chef Sondar Ranjan. He, he has experience of 40 years of continuous journey in the gastronomic industry. Chef Sondar Ranjan has set new benchmarks of culinary excellence. He is the founder general secretary of the Indian Federation of Culinary Associations and honorary member of the World Chefs. There are only 128 honorary members in the world. Handing the session to you, sir. Good morning. Uh, I like to sh start from sharing my uh, presentation. First of all, good morning, greetings. Uh, first of all, I like to thank SGR Knowledge Foundation and Mr. Ravi for inviting me to this uh, webinar. And it's my honor to be part of this webinar. Thank you very much for inviting. And also, I am my uh apologies also sorry that we have delayed by 15 minutes i'm sure uh, there is always a thing that you know you when you start these kind of things you have a some kind of a setup and thing and which we are we were, we were never used with this kind of technology in the last uh, so many years I think it's a new normal, so we have to live with that. Okay, the today's topic is I'm going to talk about the road to culinary mastery. See, to become a chef, to become a successful culinarian, you to become a successful food and beverage operations or to successfully to run an operation either as an entrepreneur or an employee, you must have the mastery of the culinary trade that is very very important okay this session i'm going to have 40 minutes so in one minute is introduction i think we have already passed three about the industry three minutes about the vision 2050 15 minutes about the fast exact go to culinary i'll give you 10 minutes for question and answer, that can be five to ten minutes. If at all you have some questions, I'll always like to, you can send it to me. I'll share my email ID and, you know, you can always get back to me. But I'll take it a little faster. So I need your complete attention. You may not understand because every slide and everything is sequenced. So it is better you please give an attention. See, we have not heard this kind of a pandemic what we are going through in our living memory. There can be so many ups and downs in the last 500 years, but there are very few things which are parallel to this current scenario. But I tell you, there are a lot of organizations, they have grown, a lot of organizations have 
stumbled. A lot of organizations have come to a standstill. A lot of organizations have taken a path of go slow. And I'm sure this is one of the industry in the hospitality industry is growing, going slow. But I tell you the culinary part, the food part, the restaurant, food and beverages has taken a change, has taken a turn. And I think it has improved. I tell you, this is the one of the scenes in the pre-pandemic, you know, that everything can, came to a standstill. It is in one of the hospitals before the pandemic. It is just after the pandemic. The one what you saw the previous picture is before March. This one is July, August, uh, sorry, August. So things have changed. These things will come and go. But, you know, what we gain knowledge, what we do is very important. This is one of the pictures, current one in Chennai which was a complete standstill, but it has come to this level now and it has changed. Okay, let us go to the presentation. Post-harvest wastage is 90,000 crores. We waste ingredients to the tune of 90,000 crores. You know, there is, there, is, there is a reason why I'm talking about this. There are about 4.1 lakh restaurants in the current scenario and it is bound to increase to 5.1 lakh restaurants in the next one year. So the manpower, skilled manpower is a huge, huge requirement for this kind of a growth. I tell you, <coughs> we still lack skilled manpower. See, there can be manpower, there can be heads, there can be people, but that is not only important, but you need a huge reservoir of skilled manpower you know without that we cannot do anything so nutrition is becoming very important people are now they want nutrition so if you see having said that your yeah, road to culinary mastery a culinary mastery will give you definitely Opportunities in food delivery, food safety, defense, science, surveillance, training, media, processing, nutrition science, applied nutrition. It's a vast variety and phenomenal amount of opportunities for you. So you want to take advantage of it as a hospitality management student. Get to the road, get to the culinary mastery. And I think I tell you, your life is made, you can do, you can go into any of these opportunities. Okay, <laughs> how to become a successful chef? How to become, the road to culinary mastery make you a successful chef? I tell you, who is a chef? Let us see who is a chef. What is the role of a chef? A chef is a person who has extensively studied, thoroughly practiced, and hard way learned the art and the management of culinary art. He is the one who will be a successful chef. So he should be able to run an operation successfully. It is not just to stand in front of a TV and cook. No, he's not a chef. You want to become a chef, you have to be thoroughly a professional to run an operation. Then only you can be a chef. You can never be a chef. You want to, you just know few items to cook. Those people, we cannot call them a chef. They can be a good cook. I, and, and that can be one instant, I cook well today, I cook well last year, I cook and I cook well, but am I a good chef? You have to be, if you are to be a good chef, you have to be thorough in your professional knowledge. When you are a thorough in professional knowledge, you can run an operation successfully. So, who is a chef? A chef is a person who has extensively studied, thoroughly practiced, and hard way learned the nuances of the culinary art and management is a chef. So, chefs do not just cook, they create. See, there is this difference between a person, carpenter, who construct, or a person who 
construct the brick, but who is an architect. Same way, there is a difference between a person who just uh, blow one music instrument and there is a difference between a music director. A chef is a music director. They are the USP of an organization. They are the advertisement. They are the cost controller. They are the PR managers of an organization. So you have to build your skills. You don't build your skills, you don't become one. So what does a chef do? Chefs are the Michelangelo, you know, Picasso. They are the music director. There are architect, architects. They are the architects of the food production department of your hotel. So a chef is an architect, a chef is a manager, a chef is a food and beverage operations manager, production manager. So the first one, have faith in professional associations to enhance your overall talent because there is a lot of change, there are a lot of sharing of knowledge, there are a lot of interactions, there are a lot of networking happens through the associations. In my life, I have trained more than 5,000 chefs. That is how, with that knowledge, with that experience, I am so going to uh, chart out a program how to become a successful chef, how to become a mastery. So, there are about four levels, you know. There is a culinary education, junior level, middle level, top level. So, <clears throat> So the first one, what we can do is, the first one is the books and journals. That's very important. See, there is some message you can get out of your uh, WhatsApp messages or some internet, but that is not the complete knowledge. That is not the foolproof knowledge. No, it is not. It is not the foolproof statement. See, I have personally have a collection of about 2,000 hard books. See, these are all my collection, even upstairs. These are all hard collection books and I have 10,000 e-books. I read four hours a day. It's very important. That is why I can talk. You can run the slides, I can talk. So, the books all give you a knowledge. The books can give you a fantastic, take you to the practical. So that you combine your practical, combine your knowledge, combine the mentorship like a chef like me, you can take any chef as your mentor, and then you become a successful chef. I think this is to do with not only the professional chef, this is to do with everything, every art, for music, be an actor, to be a cricketer, you have you need these things, three things, books, journals, practical, and a mentorship. These are the three things you have to take simultaneously. The first one I said is the books and journals. The second one is the history and philosophy, physiology. It is very important to understand the history, geography, and physiology. It gives you an immense knowledge. See, in the Culinary Institute of America, New York, where I did my uh, course, the first thing they teach is history and physiology and, and geography. This gives you an ample opportunity, ample knowledge to take how to take and go forward. So the history gives you an enough knowledge on ingredients, the availability of the ingredients. What is the culture? What is the people's culture? What are the food habits? How, what is the health food habits? What are the health requirements? So it gives you a good knowledge. So get hold of books and journals. The first one, second one is this. Get hold of your history and uh, physiology and of course geography. See, that third one is ingredients. See, my training is, I have trained more than 5,000 chefs. In my training program, I always emphasize learning about ingredients. 
I don't know which of our city it is. If it is a Mumbai, I used to visit Crawford Market to learn. They always say, why, chef, you're a senior, why do you visit market? No, I want to visit the market. I want to see. I want to see what kind of ingredients are available. I want to see what kind of status of ingredients. When you say almond, where the, do you have an almond powder, almond flakes, whole almond, almond kennels, almond essence? What are the, what are the various ingredients available and you have to keep upgrading this continuously. Once you are thorough with this, you can work anywhere in the world. So ingredients are very important. When I take my trainees, I teach them the ingredients. Then the next, whether is it a dry provision, vegetables, fruits, dairy, processed cheese, pasteurized dairy, milk cheese, dairy, what? What are these ingredients? Seafood, poultry, meat, eggs. So, proprietary sauces. There are hundreds of proprietary sauces. Tomato sauce, chili sauce, tomato chili sauce, Worcester sauce, Tabasco sauce, Lassio sauce, A to H sauce, so Escoffer sauce, so pepper, pepper sauce, paprika sauce. There are so many sauces of proprietary. So, what are each proprietary sauce have? And what are their tastes? How the food you add, the taste changes. What the flavor changes. So it is also important to have the knowledge of the proprietary sauces. Bottle drinks, liquor, Indian liquor, important. Fresh yeast, ice creams, important provisions, important perishables. So what is important is you must have the knowledge of this ingredient. I was an invited chef on the world's number one luxury liner. So when I, having said, having so much of knowledge on these ingredients, when I went there as an invited chef, I found it very easy, very simple, because I have learned. Still, there is a lot of learning. But believe me, here I went in 1989. That is exactly how many years back? 99, 30 years back. But still, when I was in a diploma, when I was in my first years, five years of my career, during my uh, college education, I made sure that I learn, I get hold of everything, what I, what I required, you know, that is I'm very particular. Why I'm telling you that I'm very particular. You want to be a successful chef. You want to go into your own. This is very, very important. See, I have traveled in this ship. It is the world number one luxury life. This luxury liner, there are about every two passengers, you have one crew. That is the luxury. That means there are 2,000 passengers, the crew size is 1,000. So that is the kind of quality of service. So you want to go and work there, you want to manage those kind of operations. It is very, very important that you get hold of your culinary mastery. That is the one way. You are already there in the college. It is now how you get your knowledge. That is the only thing you have to concentrate on next five years. Don't worry about money. Don't worry about stipend. Don't worry about salary. You will get salary. You will be compensated. Nobody can stop you. But what is important is acquiring enough that is very, very important. So, this is a journey I did during the world growth. I was an invited chef and going through this fantastic journey, cooking for the world's elite passengers. So, what a fantastic experience. You can also get into this kind of experience. Okay, that is the third one, ingredients. Why I showed you ingredients and then a QE2 journey? Do you understand why? 
because after i went there on qe2 i saw so many ingredients i was amazed so i realized since i have studied the ingredients properly i could manage that it doesn't matter wherever in the world you can manage if your knowledge is good that is why learning about ingredients is very important the fourth one is menu terms see menu terms are very very important menu terms are the language see aspic for example you see what is an aspic an aspic is a clear jelly made from poultry or meat does it change anywhere else no it doesn't change the same the aspic is called the same aspic in a leading ritz carlton or in a leading five star deluxe hotel or in united states of america or france or switzerland or europe india delhi nagpur anywhere aspic is aspic that is why i say menu terms are the language of chefs menu terms are the language of chefs you know the menu terms you can talk to any chef in the world very simple any chef it is a language you know menu terms are the language and they are the lifeline lifeline for cooking so with the menu language you can manage anywhere it talks about the food item this is the menu language it is a chef's language it is a menu language it is a knowledge about food it is required to compile the menu so i have in my career learned about 5000 menu terms i have a dictionary i have made a dictionary and i have put it in my website chefsounder.com you can have a look at it learn the menu terms you know the menu terms you can rule the culinary world you know you nobody will challenge so what's important is the menu terms fifth one is the cooking methods around every cuisine everything in the world it depends on the cooking methods there are about 100 different cooking methods you know so roasting you have how roasting is done spit roasting pot roasting pan roasting what ingredients go in roasting so searing what is searing find out what is searing it's a cooking method so you have about 100 cooking methods i learned the cooking methods hard way so you know the menu ingredients you know the cooking methods you know the menu terms you can speak to any chef in the world even you can speak to a chinese chef even if he doesn't know the language if you can understand this each of these cooking methods so barbecue grilling roasting spit roasting searing steaming pan roasting broiling pan broiling blanching steaming pan steaming so poach poaching broiling so there are so many cooking methods about 100 of the cooking methods at least be thorough with that so the first one I have a lot of books and journals menu terms ingredients cooking methods so these are all the becoming an expert becoming qualified in this make you an expert then the very important is get hold of the kitchen knife skills i put it separately the kitchen knife skills because it is very important kitchen knife skills please go to my website i have six videos on kitchen knife skills i have 120 knives in my collection 
have a very very good skill of your kitchen knives to have a good kitchen knife skills it is very important that you have to practice So, how do you handle knives? How do you handle chopping board, sharpening stone, honing rod, knife back, knife blade cover? These are the seven, eight things. How do, for all the knives, you are, these are the seven, eight things you should have, then you can become an expert. Once you become an expert in handling knife, then life is made easy. So, you see, you see the each facet I'm talking about. If you're thorough with that, I think you can become the, one of the most successful chefs in the world. The next one is tools and kitchen equipment. See, the technique of using a griller in Chennai is same as using in Mumbai, is same as using in Queen Elizabeth II, is same as using in New York or Europe. The combi oven works the same techniques. The broiler works with the same technique. So, what is important is get hold of the kitchen equipment and kitchen uh, kitchen tools. What are the kitchen equipment? You look at how the kitchen equipments work, how to manage this kitchen equipment, how to keep them safe. So, when I was in Queen Elizabeth to luxury liner, I used all this equipment. It was very easy because this uh, kitchen equipment I had the knowledge. So, when I went there, it was very easy. I have set up restaurants in Finland. I have worked in Finland, I worked in other countries elsewhere, I worked in Mauritius, I worked in the US. I never found it difficult if I am thorough with the kitchen equipment and kitchen tools. I worked in Delhi, I worked in Mumbai, I worked across the country, I worked right from Kashmir to Kanyakumi, I worked in various states, but there's no problem. If you know the language of a chef, if you have the skill of a mastery of a chef, you don't need that. The next one is the hygiene and food safety. So, I think you please note down this. So, when you come to hygiene and food safety, what is the nutrition values you look at? How do you manage the food safe? What is the trans fat free food? What are the nutrients required for a human being? How do you plan a menu through nutrients? What is fortified food? How do you make low salt food? What is eating right menu? So, all these facets put together make you a good hygiene and food and that is a very very fundamental requirement for the chef and then dietics and food nutrition so food safety hygiene dietics and food nutrition if these are all very important each facet is important i'm not telling just because of the pandemic that you have to learn these are all the things long back our food safety standard systems can take care of, care of any pandemic. You would have seen in the past study like hotels, only other people are more worried about following. But we are not worried because we already follow this kind of uh, food safety and hygiene standards. The tenth one is menu writing and compiling. See, I have uh, a collection of 2,000 menus and I have researched over 10,000 menus. Then I made a module, probably in case if we have get in touch, we can always, I can share all my knowledge, all my knowledge is to share. I don't want to keep any of it with me, it will rust. If I keep giving, I'll improve. So, tenth one is menu writing and menu compiling. So, history of menu, origin of menu terms, principles of menu, analysis of menus, Framework of various establishments, compiling the menu, what are the menu errors, menu accuracy, designing menus, writing excellent menus. These are all very, very important in a menu. The next one is the culinary maths. How many of you have done a culinary mathematics? That's your main subject. For them, it is very easy. Others, it is little difficult. I have done a BSc in maths on us. I didn't find any difficulty, but I I neglected because I know 
But later I realized for training my cooks, for training my chefs, for training my tra management trainees, I have to learn the training module I have to put it together. So when you say culinary maths, the percentage and decimals, yield calculation, that means how much of this 10 kilo of chicken can yield boneless. You have to calculate what is the percentage of yield. When you know the percentage of yield, you can calculate the cost. That is why you need fractions, multiplication, subtractions, additions, butchers test, cooking yield, multiplying recipes, standard recipes. These are all you have to be thorough. So culinary maths is very important. So food, beverage, and cost management is my next requirement. That is strategic planning. Pricing the menus, menu engineering, then profitability. You have to plan through your culinary economics. That is very important. That is food cost management. Menu costing, assigning a uh, selling price, assigning the overheads. So <clears throat> in the culinary mastery, when you become a chef of a, a great operations manager and also a great guy, you must have the pricing and cost management. Then food presentation techniques. What is important is the food presentation techniques is very important. This is the food presentation technique. I was the food presenter is I was the president of the Bokus the World Competition, the world's number one competition. I went as a president mentor, and this is the presentation what I have shown you in class. So these are all some of the international present competitions which we participate. But what is important is you have to be good in your food presentation techniques. My management trainees, I teach them food presentation techniques. That is how I make them a very good food presentation person. So this is an another module I have done on buffet management in one of the institutions. This is a platter which I won the ACS best platter. The platter is completely made of silver. We have carried this from India. So the next one, 13th is the food presentation. The next one is the kitchen planning and designing. You have to learn the kitchen planning and designing because when you grow, once you experience one day, you might also can become a facility planner. So now you need as a chef, I am not telling you you should become an architect, you should become an engineer. No, you must know in a kitchen, this is a kitchen, I have planned about 50 kitchens. How do you do plan this kitchen? Where is the hot plate coming? Where is the tandoor coming? Where is the spreader coming? Where is the range coming? This is very, very important. So when you plan a kitchen, how do you put your equipment? Why do you put your equipment? What is the workflow that is important? So my management trainees, I teach them this whole kitchen planning and management because that's very important. The next one is the international cuisine. So having said that, having learned that various facets I have told about mastery and culinary, uh, international cuisine is very important. I have traveled to more than 50 countries in my long career. And what I have shown them, how important uh, I have learned and interacted, I have done a networking, how much you can improve and learn uh, the international cuisine so that it's helpful for our own operations and it's also helpful when you go and work in those organizations. So, uh, so one thing is, remember, pandemic, no pandemic, recession, no recession, human beings have to live, have to eat. That is why your job is very important. You, your job is unavoidable. Don't worry about it. There is no silver bullet for COVID. There is, uh, there is no formula. So, but there is a formula to become a chef, become a culinary master, become an expert in producing these kind of best presentations. This is one of my presentations in the world's number culinary institute of america when since i have done all my basics correct i can do a presentation in the world's number one institute for some of the world, world's best chefs if you see me that i can do only if you so don't 
I achieved this after 20 years, but if you do, you can achieve what I have achieved in 40 years, you can achieve in 20 years. Because there is so much of opportunities here, opportunities available. But there are some challenges, I'm not telling. The first five years is a big challenge. So the training, learning is important. You must understand to learn practical at home, at the institute, at home during pandemic like this, then learn from the webinars and learn from digital, learn from visual, virtual, learn from books. Training is important. Training is a combination of all these things. You can't say I can only learn if I go to the kitchen, if I go on practical. No, nothing like that. Even you can do that. Then customer interaction is also become virtual. If the global business is going virtual, so the training will become virtual. Look for me. I'm going to launch a program, then you can also become, I am, so I'm also talking to Mr. Ravi and your institute. We will launch a big program in your institute, which will make you your most successful chefs. So prepare yourself, continue learning and search for the new horizons in front of you. Don't stop. So thank you very much. I have completed this in 35 minutes, uh, 34 minutes. I have five more minutes to, uh, question and answer and please let me see any questions then probably i'll conclude in one minute thank you thank you so much sir. now uh, the moderator of this session chef vimal that has also joined us chef vimal that is a consultant chef and he is an entrepreneur. He started his journey from Taj Lake Palace in 1997, exposed to cruise lines which sailed through Miami, Brazil, Barcelona, formed his own management company, innovating hospitality, in which manages hostel, hotels, and restaurants. Catering segment is Akshataj, which handles weddings, caterings, and events in Udaipur and Rajasthan. Handing the session to you, Vimal, sir. So you are on mute. Okay. As rightly said by Chef uh, Sondarajan, technology is the, the biggest uh, key uh, in today's trend. And that was the right example when I didn't unmute my <laughs> mobile. All right. Anyways, good morning to all of you. And good morning, Chef Sondarajan. Namaskar. I... Uh, Is it, is it good now? Excellent. So uh, I would like to thank you. Uh, thanks, uh, Mr. Ravi Mishra, uh, dear friend, uh, culinary uh, master, uh, Rai Sony Group of uh, Hotel Management for giving me this opportunity to uh, share the uh, the mic, the stage with the, the, the uh, legendary chef of our industry, Chef Sondarajan. And... Uh, uh, I have been known to Chef Sondarajan many years, for many years, and uh, it's actually a pleasure. Thank you, uh, Chef, uh, Chef Ravi and, uh, and uh, the, the, the Rai Sony group. Brilliant it is. And, uh, you know, I was in the hustle and bustle of uh, the, the regular hospitality industry as I'm into events and, uh, you know, I'm a consultant chef also. Uh, not that uh, very popular doing my, uh, you know, uh, mainstream these days but yes uh, as rightly chef by chef uh, sondarajan that you know if you are in the mainstream then you have to go through many challenges uh, what a chef uh, generally uh, faces in the initials and even i mean uh, in the later stages also because culinary is one stream where you know you have to be on top of all the latest trends 
the the new uh, you know burning uh, uh, things which is there popular in the market i do events also we have an event company also and yesterday at 2:30 i finished one uh, you know wedding session and i was aware that i have to be present uh, with all of you and uh, you know sh- share some uh, some interesting facts which uh, is going to come from uh, dr chef uh, sondarajan so really really uh, kind chef uh, so my one quick uh, i mean I, i i know you have shared each and every you have covered all the aspects of the culinary uh, the industry uh, for <coughs> all right so but still i would you know loudly would like to ask you chef please uh, i mean what made you you that you are today who guided you to be a uh, industry your source who see your source who guided you yeah see i think when i started my career what happened is I, i i thought find something i i did my bsc maths honors then i was able to join msc if it is now present scenario i would not have joined okay for the moment so they told me my uh, father and he is a national award he said why don't you join hotel management it has got an extensive abundant scope in the future definitely at one stage hospitality management ruled and the best of the talent went for the hotel management before the it has come and conquered the best of talent so after that i have never stopped then my inspiration or i would say chef jayam choudhury chef sadi sarora and august escoffer of course chef gil these are all my inspiration as a chef absolutely rightly uh from where you get the support from where you get the inspiration and which is uh, always uh, like that you know i i was completing my uh, uh, i mean uh, 12th standard and we were appearing for uh, easily get through nda and all that stuff but uh, somehow in the back of my head it was there that i want to be a hotel general manager <laughs> so this is i think this is the uh, the general phenomena for almost all the culinary uh, chefs who are like the chefs now but their stories are like that you always had something of that sort on your journals and the front pages and which was always relating to something uh, you always uh, would never have easily dreamt of but finally today we have those things so uh, what i uh, conclude uh, here is chef that uh, as rightly said by you uh, one has to be very very particular and which is why you are there so uh, i think for everyone this is uh, if you talk about the hospitality if you talk about any other uh, professional uh, industry i believe if somebody is particular if the vision is clear that this is the path i want to take and this is where i want to really reach uh, the kainat uh, always helps you to reach that level and uh, the other thing which you rightly mentioned chef uh, that uh, you must always keep giving because the things will either uh, you know be rusted so re- we really don't want that and uh, really brilliant uh, to have you here chef because uh, you know you really need to be grounded at the same time because agar aap grounded nahi honge and uh, if you are not uh, habitual uh, you know of giving back to the society i think it's a waste so uh, we all must uh, you know uh, always participate uh, and interact and uh, as rightly said the knowledge 
thousand recipes which Chef uh, Sondarajan uh, mentioned, and many other things, different skills. Uh, yield calculations, uh, cooking methods, history of uh, culinary, different wines, expose, uh, you know, exposure to different uh, uh, encyclopedias and all that stuff. So I think uh, uh, you have covered all the beautiful uh, aspects of the culinary industry, Chef. And I would really congratulate you for doing all that brilliant work so far. And even I keep... Uh, uh, get inspired uh, <laughs> with your beautiful work and we always follow you because we always see what is good on top so if somebody like you is there on top then we would like to you know achieve to that level uh, all the asp aspiring chefs uh, will always reach there so that's it. I, I, I think I have concluded here. The best is yet to come. So we must uh, keep chasing our last achievement and try to do the next uh, thing even better than the last one. So thank you so much. Thank you so much, Chef, and uh, all thank the you. members here. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. I'll take one minute to conclude. Is it okay, Kumansi? I'll take one minute. Yes, sir, totally all right. Uh, see, uh, I think uh, all the thank you very much, uh, Chef Bimal. I think uh, uh, you were working yesterday till late night. I'm sure. I have not <laughs> but it is quite. Uh, I know it's very tough. But yes. I, I think even with that day, he enjoys. You know, I don't think yes. he, desire, he would not have enjoyed. I think at Absolutely. the end of the day, the passion is important. What I want, last one recommendation or advice I'll give you to all your young students or chefs or young chefs is, please don't stop. Don't worry about hurdles. This pandemic is a hurdle. Don't yeah. judge your career based on today. Build a long-term vision. Build a five years vision to learn. Build a 15 years vision to become a chef. Build a 25 years vision to become a big chef. I mean, an executive chef kind of thing. Don't worry about it. Keep learning knowledge. What? Find the best thing in the world and start learning. I used to do the best thing in the world. When, I, uh, when my chairman asked, chef, I want to give you one thing. Tell me. One thing, what do you want? I said, I have not studied in the best institute in the world. I want to go there for three months. He said, okay, go. So that is what I, <laughs> I have studied in the Culinary Institute of America, New York. So I come from an urban, come from the, I look for the best. You know, when I got a doctorate, I got a doctorate from the hands of Dr. Abdul Kalam. I got a national award. Yeah. True. Well, I am one of the World Chefs members, uh, honorary member of World Chefs. There are only 128 honorary members in the world, not more. There are two from India, one me and Gay. Why I am telling is, I am not boasting. What make me to tell is, there is opportunity that you can get it. What I achieved in 40 years, you can achieve in 25 years. But keep the tab. Don't worry about the present hurdles. Don't worry about what is my salary after I leave. Don't worry. I never bothered. You know, I, I don't have money to go from Kudu. We never to Kudu to my training center. Walk, walk for 10 kilometers when I was a trainee. I never bothered. I bought a Eskaf, um, uh, Laurus book for 250 rupees out of 550 rupees for my first time. So that is my message. Keep working. Don't worry about the uh, hurdles. Thank you very much. Thank you, Rasan. And thank you, uh, uh, Chef Bimal, joining. Thank you. Thank, thank you for your good words. I think your good words thank are you. so definitely as motivated. <laughs> Everyone yes, needs yes. good words. That is, Absolutely. doesn't matter, you know, what is your uh, experience yeah. and knowledge. I thank Ravi, uh, Chef Ravi Mishra having confidence in both of us to come to this program. Thank you very much. And I also thanks for calling me. Thank uh, Razoni University to call me second time during this Orange Literature Festival. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
On behalf of Orange City Literature Fest, organized by SGR Knowledge Foundation, I propose hearty vote of thanks to our guest, guest chef Sondhya Ranjan and moderator chef Vimal Dhar. We sincerely express our gratitude towards your acceptance for the session and knowledge shared with us. Thank you so much, sir. Our next session is Twenty years of existence, two universities, twenty-three educational institutes, offering a hundred and thirty-seven courses. Rai Sony Group of Institutions, a vision beyond.